you missing that key player on your team and do not have the coins to afford him, be sure to check out Buy My Coins for instant Madden coins and use code SAVAGE for 10% off. Yo fellas, what's going on? It's Savage here. How is your Monday going? I hope this episode of Road to Red Paint makes it a little bit better as we are coming off of a first round playoff loss. We did go 7-0 last season but did lose in the first round of the playoffs and that's just something that's gonna happen. We gotta shake it off. We gotta get used to L's. I'm okay with losing. It's not a big deal. I'm a human being. I'm allowed to lose especially with a team like this, this 86 overall. We are starting to get matched up with slightly better players that have much better teams so it is going to make it a little bit more of a task when it does come to actually winning games now we did finish last episode with 35 upgrade points and i'm not going to be making any upgrades in this episode i want you guys right now to comment down below who we should get players that i'm definitely looking to upgrade is our left guard we need to go from a gold to an elite as well as anquan bolden maybe get him to a gold just so we can have increased depth and as well as just anywhere else that you feel like is a very big weakness such as cornerback number four just because uh, Talib does have a bit slower speed than most of my corners so it definitely would make it a little bit easier on us if we could upgrade in the depth department as well as our starting left guard who is only a gold card now with all that being said fellas can we get 400 big likes on this video it would be absolutely fantastic because I know you guys love this series and I love this series too because it's something different it's something fun and it's just something that everybody can relate to because i know not everybody spends money on madden and has god squads and this team is much far from a god squad but guess what if i can put in the work with this team i know you guys can with your teams as well that might not be 93 94 95 overall so now we are going to go ahead and hop into the first game of our brand new season and we did move up a division we actually are in a higher division now so we might see some slightly better competition but without further ado, let's hop into a game and let's try to get this dub. All right, man, we're playing TJ Farrell. We were playing the Farrell. We're playing freaking Yugi, man. And oh my, oh, 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 my God. He has a very, very nice team and we are receiving the ball first. So we cannot, we cannot afford to turn the ball over since we are receiving first. Let's do this. Alrighty, fellas, here we go. Starting off, like I said, on the offense. And right here, he's coming out. I think it might be 4-6, a little 4-6 action. We're gonna go draw to the homie, to the main man, Derrick Henry right there, up the gut right there. Now, um, guys, my big thing with running a uh, head back draw, actually, I think he's in, what is that, 4-3 normal? I think he's in Four, three normal uh, what is this i don't even know i don't know if he has auto flip on either it doesn't matter it does not matter all that matters is is i am running the ball with derrick henry a lot more and more because after this past weekend league on the main account you guys if you saw my video from yesterday i said to use slower running backs when you run draw derrick henry's got 90 speed two carries 20 something yards already i told y'all your boys always got your back big backs like derrick henry the big backs like Adrian Peterson, those are the backs that you want to run draw with. Now, right here, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go tempo. See how he's pinching his line? We're going to hit him with a base now. So we're going to have a pulling guard right here coming across the formation. And that is going to be another pretty solid run right there for Derrick Henry, getting us 25 yards, getting us an upgrade point. That feels good. Let's give Derrick Henry a break and come out and pass the ball. Keeping him honest, coming out and running plays in a passing formation, it was one of the best things you can do, especially when you're rocking out with a budget squad. If you can show like, hey, I'm not scared. I'm I'm not scared to, to, to run the football out of a formation that is mainly derived for passing. Guess what, bro? You're going to be able to shake a lot of dudes out of their socks when, when you start passing the ball and such. I hope that people out there with budget squads, I hope people out there that watch this series are learning and such, and they might pick up on a few things that I do with, with budget squads and such, because I'm telling you, man, look at Derrick Henry picking up the first down on the draw. I'm telling you, if you could just take a little bit of what I do into your scheme, especially if you do have, like I said, like an 86 to like 90 overall right now, I'm telling you, you will improve your record of winning so much. I want nothing more than everybody to watch my videos to hopefully learn and get wins. And that is why I love Road to Red Paint because I'm telling you, man, anybody can go out here and win with any team on any given day. Now, right here, I don't know why he manned up the middle linebacker, but that just complete, he, he hard flatted and he manned up that middle linebacker, bro, bro. 
That was so cake. Now it's second and goal. I did not show you what just happened because he ran commit and I got absolutely demolished when I came out and ran draw. But right here, man, what we're going to do is, is we are going to try to hit Evan Ingram and Evan Ingram is going to go down to the one yard line right there. We're actually going to come out here. We're going to do something really, really glitchy. We're going to come out in ace twins off. All right, this actually, I don't even think this is ace twins. Yeah, this isn't even ace twins. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. It doesn't even matter. I think that was just freaking like two tight end offset i don't even know what that formation is called all i know is the power o in that formation is absolutely glitchy as you can see we cash in with a touchdown on our first possession against tj farrow 11 plays 75 yards three minutes and 30 seconds the squad is looking beautiful and we're looking to make an excellent comeback this season he's coming out two tight ends to the left gotta watch the stretch we're coming out in four three wide nine and that is the stretch that i was looking out for miles jack making the tackle on 98 overall, the Danian Tomlinson. I just tackled a 98 overall with a 79 overall, bro. That is wild. We get third and eight right here. Now it is going to be interesting to see how he actually plays it on this down. Now he's going slants and right there. Oh, I was right. I was right there with with a keep to leap. Did you see how late the reaction was? What the heck? He went hurry up. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now he's going to probably go run. Yup. He ran it and this is going to be bad because we are in the 4-6. We are in not in run defense right there as he runs all over us with LT. I'm sorry. I thought I should have intercepted all that play. Definitely interesting to say the least, but that's okay. We got to watch the run now. We are in 4-3 normal and he's going back to the stretch and we are absolutely blowing up the run, man. If we're out in our run D... We're gonna stop you. That is just what the Savage Squad does, man. We do not settle for anything less than the best run defense in the game. The best. Oh my goodness, we're missing tackles right there, though. We can't go missing tackles. That's not how the best run defense plays. As he's going back to the hurry up yet again, playing against dudes like this with your budget squad can definitely be frustrating. Just because, man, I know how it feels. I know how it feels. I know. I know how it feels. I know how it feels, guys. It gets a little frustrating when they start hurrying up. Your team starts getting tired. You might not have as many backups as your opponent, and he might start getting away with a little bit of murder. Well, man, it is third and 11. Let's just say his team is playing outstanding right now, and we are going to do something risky. We're going to try to bomb it away, bomb it away to the man himself, bomb it away to the man himself, Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, absolutely unbelievable play. Getting down inside the 30-yard line, guys. I'm telling you, man, you guys need one speedster in the slot. Come out and bunch, fade route him up the seam against that cover three. It's money every time. You know, man, he really has been getting a little cute with his defense, actually. He's been coming out hard flaps from time to time, manning up players from time to time. Maybe right here. Maybe right here he mans him up again. Oh, my God, what is Keenan Allen doing? Bro, Keenan Allen just, like, broke his neck. Or no, that's Michael Thomas, rather. Did you guys just see Michael Thomas is, like, stuck? What the heck? Like I said, I want to just make sure that we can limit his time of possession. So maybe he tries to force something. Maybe he tries to get a little too cute on offense when we give him the ball back. After we score this touchdown right here, and he goes for the run commit, I don't think it matters, though. Derrick Henry into the end zone for his second touchdown right there. That was a uh, nice little, nice, that was nice defense. He played, he played a slightly good red zone defense. A little bit better last drive than he did right there but we are going up 14 7 55 seconds left let's see if he tries to go for a deep shot before the end of the half and we could get a pick big play right here first and goal i don't know if he's gonna he ran it he ran it on first and goal with like no time left he ran the football Thank you for the lead still. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely a little confused as to why he decided to run the football at the end of the first half. But hey, hey, I'll take the lead. We're still up by seven. He could have cut the lead down to four and made it a little bit more stressful on us. But now it's definitely looking a little bit easier. Let's see what we're doing right here on the second. And Teddy's coming out and stretch, coming out and stretch, coming out in stretch. And our defense, oh no, our defense is getting absolutely shredded by the stretch runs again he's just going back and forth he's just choosing what side he wants to run the football to what oh no oh oh good god oh good god we're going for the shoelace tackle right there with ryan shazier another huge game for the dude third and nine he's going to flip the set this time and we are going on lawrence taylor for the user let's see what we got right here he went to the stick route christian okoye with the tackle sounds kind of weird saying considering he's a fullback and right here now it is fourth and 
one is he gonna run it no he does not go for the run he's going right here and that is going to be an interception to keenan allen i believe that was tight end attack it doesn't matter what play it was because it is our ball now our opponent is pausing the game our opponent is pausing the game are we about to see ourselves a rage quit to start off the season yes we do absolutely amazing by us to get an interception when we need it most man he was running the football very effectively i don't know why people who are doing something so effectively abandon it like if something is working i am telling you just consistently come out in that play like if you're able to run the football 50 times in a game run the football 50 times in a game you gotta do what is working and that is what he failed to do right there it was just fourth and one he didn't need to throw it into the end zone better yet he didn't need to throw it into coverage and right there he throws us an interception we get a seven point rage quit and that just feels absolutely invigorating that's a very good word that's a hundred dollar word as they used to say when we were at, well, well at least when i was in elementary school if you said a good word that was a hundred dollar word but an invigorating rage quit right there absolutely awesome i feel so great now man we starting off the season with a fat w and i'm definitely feeling excited to, to, to at least see who you guys suggest that we should get for the squadron but i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did like i said man let's try to get 400 likes on it so i can keep pumping out the daily road to red paints like I said, comment down below who we should upgrade. And guys, subscribe if you are new around here as we are doing big things with this 86 overall. We're making everybody look like chumps. Have a wonderful rest of your night, fellas.